I, I already participated in last year's contest and I think this contest is now getting bigger and better and I think there are a lot of very interesting projects here. The fifth international contest of applications in nanomicrotechnologies, also known as ICANN, was held in Sendai, Miyagi. High school and college students took part in the contest and presented their works using MEMS devices to compete against each other. This time, we closely covered Fukushima's Koryama Kita Technical High School Computer Club. They won the first place in the domestic round. We as a local production project team. How does this contest end? Twenty-three teams from ten different countries participate the ICANN. Japan hosts the event for the first time in the history of the contest. This year's theme was Disaster Prevention and Disaster Risk Reduction. Students from around the world have special feelings for taking part in the contest in Japan that experienced the 2011 disaster. I have watched some videos on YouTube about the tsunami and it was very bad. So I think that it was very hard, I mean very tough for the Japanese people to rebuild their homes and, and everything. So I really um, impress and respect how fast the restoration work was. There was so much destruction and I think people have suffered very much and um, I think it's a, it's a very good topic to have dis disaster reduction here and also have very, I mean, many young people to think about also to prevent and also reduce um, disasters. It's very precious in temperature and atmospheric pressure. Koryama Kita Technical High School won the first place in the domestic round. With hope to help people, they invented a multifunctional security robot. Their seniors took part in the international contest two times in the past, and last year they ended up in the second place. This time they made lots of efforts in development and production to be number one in the world. And finally, they present the culmination of their work. Ha ha ha! I am a large catfish. I'm causing an earthquake now. Oh, an earthquake! An earthquake! No way! Grandpa! Yumi! Oh, Tomoyoshi! Oh, Grandpa and Yumi! We are able to know evacuate early, oh. thanks to Prorobo you made. Thank you, Provo! Let us introduce to your protective robot which we have made. Disasters such as earthquakes, tsunamis, tornadoes, and fire occur all over the world. What is important to decrease the damages from disaster? It's information. Which information do you use? Is it media information such as TV, fire alarm, or security camera? No, we use Probo. In case of emergency, the robot warns people around it. From a distance, users can monitor situations through its camera on a tablet computer. It even has a function to locate people trapped under rubble. Now, that's all for the presentation. Thank you very much for your attention. They consider this Polish team as their strong competitor who has also developed a robot as they have done. Uh, now, uh, this uh, sensors uh, consist of a temperature sensor, pressure sensor and a, a methane gas sensor. The Polish team's invention can monitor levels of methane, radiation and more. They present a decent robot system. 
Just as expected of the international contest, qualities of works are high. All 23 teams have finished their presentation, and now the judges will announce the results. Best Contribution Awards goes to 5 teams, and then 10 teams come in third. Koryama Kita Technical High School's name hasn't been announced yet. Next, names of six teams are called as second place winners. Hola, Javistic University of Technology, Rico. The Polish team finished in second place. Thank you very much. Finally, first place winners will be honored. Is Koryama Kita Technical High School going to claim the honor? And who will be the last one to be called? The seniors couldn't reach the first place. This is the first time achievement that high school students won the contest. えっと、こういう Return to Fukushima with good news. With such hope, they have developed the multifunctional security robot, and it will surely help people around the world.